welcome YouTube. We are in the supercharged S2000 and driving on the StopTech Big Brake Kit. The StopTech Big Brake Kit is a good idea for this car because I have a supercharger in it and I was having a lot of trouble with the stock brakes. With stock power, you can get away with upgrading the brakes and you probably don't need a big brake kit. But the time came for me to uh, get a big brake kit and so here we are. The immediate thing that I noticed when I got into the car was how firm the brake pedal was. And it felt like I had a bad master cylinder. But the reality is, it's the big brake kit. As soon as you touch the pedal, the pads contact, and it's like standing on a brick. The modulation is so easy that it just makes this big brake kit one of the best things that you can do to a modified S2000. It feels like I'm driving a much more expensive car, and, and I like that. I like that I don't have to get a new car because the S2000 is so cheap to run. I don't spend much money on this car taking it to the track compared to, say, the Shelby or a Viper or a Z06. And that's why I love the S2000. It's so cheap to run this thing. So putting something on the car that's as good as these big brakes is pretty exciting because it changes the whole characteristic of the car. The brakes work so well that you might want to consider upgrading anyways. Even if you don't get out to the track a lot, even if you're stuck in the office, it's so satisfying to drive this that, you know, the added utility of the big brake kit is worth the expense. I can't tell you enough how excited I am about this big brake kit because it really makes the S2000 a better car. And the S2000 is already a great car. Even in stock form, it's a great car, but every time you start modifying it, you expose other weak links that need to be modified too. And so, when you get up over 300 horsepower at the wheels, then you sort of need to do something for the brakes. And, and uh, that's where we're at. I'm very happy with this kit. And I had, I had a lot of doubts about it because spending that much money on brakes is not an attractive thing to do. It's not something you consider worthwhile because I'm probably not going to see that money when I go to sell the car, uh, but I will see a lot of enjoyment out of it. And so you have to decide if it's worth it for you. But I would encourage you to go out there and drive someone's S2000 with a big brake kit in it because it's, it's really great. So realistically, I can't get the brakes hot enough to bed them in out here on a public road, so I have to take the car out to the racetrack to do that. And this was definitely a worthwhile mod. I would recommend it if you are pushing a lot of power in your S2000. And uh, the other issue, of course, was I was changing out rotors so frequently that I was messing up my wheel lug uh, nuts and, and studs, and, and that's just a pain in the butt, you know. Because I'm going to be taking off my wheels a lot less, I'm probably going to be messing up a lot less studs. I'm also going to be easier on the wheel bearings because I have an aluminum rotor hat now, so the wheel bearings should stay cooler. Um, I'll have less brake pad changes, less rotor changes, and I'm really looking forward to that because that took up a lot of my time, and honestly, that was pretty annoying. This StopTech big brake kit was a joy to install the instructions were some of the best that I've ever seen. One of the problems I had, as another viewer pointed out, was that the pads did not fit well into the calipers. I had to hammer them in. When I installed these calipers, it took a lot of force to get the pads to go into the caliper. I had to use a hammer. The other thing about these calipers is they were pretty heavy compared to a comparable Brembo caliper. The only thing my package was missing was the Loctite for the caliper bolts, but I have Loctite on my shelf, so that's not a big deal. The other thing that I have to worry about here is I have these brake ducts, so I had to reroute them to go right behind the rotor, because you have to remove the dust shield that I had my brake ducts mounted to. I had to remove that in order to fit these giant rotors. This is one of the best aftermarket parts I have bought. The packaging, the instructions, 
everything that StopTech does is really top notch and, and I was really impressed by that so I think it's important to give them credit on that because they really did a good job. Uh, and the kit is expensive so I guess you could expect that level of uh, attention to detail but man it's a, it's a really well done kit. The other thing about installing the kit, one last thought, the bleeding procedure took a long time. I used two full containers of Motul to get all the air bubbles out of the StopTech caliper. Some people messaged me saying that their StopTech brakes felt squishy. I do not think they should feel like that. My S2000 pedal has never felt more firm and responsive than with the StopTech kit. So if your pedal is mushy, I would get in there, maybe tap your brake calipers with a hammer and follow StopTech's bleeding procedure. And that bleeding procedure, of course, is you got two nipples there. You wanna bleed the inside nipple and you wanna bleed the outside nipple. Uh, inside first, outside after. And uh, that's because you got four pots in here. Another question someone asked was the brake balance. Does this change the brake balance of the car? StopTech sizes the pistons of the caliper to try to maintain the factory brake balance. I think that this one shifts it 3% forward. I'd have to check again on their website. But I did verify that they put staggered pistons into the caliper, maintaining the brake balance. I have not gotten out to the racetrack. That will be the ultimate test. And so we'll see how they are. But again, that's one of StopTech's main selling points. So if you disagree with that, just ask them. Call them up. They have great customer service. They would be happy to answer your questions. And they'd probably be happy to sell you a kit. I had to wait like three months for this kit. So it might take a while for them to give you the kit, but the attention to detail was excellent, and because of that, it was well worth it. So, that is all I have for you on the StopTech Big Break Kit. Overall, I am very happy with the Big Break Kit, and I would recommend it if you are pushing a lot of power and if you are having trouble with the stock braking system. So, we are back from that test drive, which was really great. The exciting thing about the StopTech is, of course, the improved pedal feel. The pedal is extremely solid. When I got in the car, I sort of thought there was an issue with my brake booster or my master cylinder, but it turned out not to be a problem. The pedal feel is such that as you press on the brakes harder and harder, the car just stops harder and harder. And it works like this up until the point that ABS engages. And that's incredible. That's gonna be incredible on the racetrack because you will be able to be much more consistent in the braking zones with proper brakes like this. And so I'm very excited to test it out. That is all I have for you with the StopTech Big Brake Kit. The install went great. The street test went great. Now we have to test them on the track and hopefully that will go great, but I do not know yet. So moving forward, I'm going to be posting videos about my toys on Tuesday and my finance videos on Friday. So if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will try to post them on a regular schedule going forward. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.